Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And <clears throat> a uh, look at a ship that um, is buildable now, and that is the H44 experimental German battleship design, which was never even laid down or anything. Um, but uh, is an interesting ship to think about. I was wondering if you can actually build a thing. Um, now that we have access to the 20 inch dual guns, which is what it was supposed to have. And you can. Oh, yes. Okay, this is going to be uh, an interesting one. So, oops. Our full weight offset is quite large. Zero point eight. That's much nicer. Uh, so this is going to be the H forty four. Um. Okay. Secondary guns. Oh, eight inch mark five duels. Oh yes. Oh, very nice. Uh. <laughs> Oh, they don't fit there. That's sad. Mm. Probably get them to fit if I go like this. Okay. rotate them. It's an annoying one to rotate, but there we go. Um, that's quite a lot of 8-inch firepower. Uh, Six-inch guns? No. Always find that very slightly disappointing on this type of ship. That's a three-inch. Why not? Gotta shoot down those planes somehow. Um, torpedoes, not gonna bother with those. Much more fun to use guns. Uh, oh, yeah, I need a funnel. Now, uh, this thing should do at least 30 knots, have a very long range, and maximum blockades. Just to give myself a little bit of a challenge. Um, let's go with a diesel. Uh, can we go with a... F no, we can't. It's not going to work with a diesel engine. Interesting. What about double gear turbines? No chance. Okay, we're not getting to 30 knots then. Even with forced boilers. We're going to be going more like 23. I mean, I could make it go 30 knots. It's just, it's not, it's it's never going to get there. Um, for loads of weight to play with at the moment. I took up a fair old chunk. Uh... Go for a literally a best of everything. Outstanding. Uh, should we go for the high? Actually, why don't we go for the high TNT? Uh, both for the uh, reduced hull weight and the fact that when you're firing 20 inch guns, you can probably get away with firing HE. And. Can I go for my standard 2010 setup? No. I could go for an 8, 6, 
16 though, that would be okay. extra armor just a little bit okay um pretty well balanced ship hmm let's try her out oh my <laughs> what are you doing united states Menacing. <laughs> Thing obviously does not turn me amazingly well. Ah, enemy in sight. Long way away. Do have quite large guns. Weird rear setup. Oh, and we're firing already. See, that's not actually that small a battleship. That's a modern battleship. <laughs> Just firing back at us. It just looks tiny compared to this monster. Five point nine percent accuracy is uh, shockingly good. Let's see if we can score any hits. A ricochet. That's very annoying. I'm gonna switch to H E. Oh they've got twenty inch guns as well. Oh, hello. Well, this fight just got pretty interesting. Yep. Oh, there we go. Partial. I'll take that for now. Eleven percent accuracy. Oh, to get hit. Belt extend. Belt extended. Yeesh. Oh my word! One hit. Deck extended. 690 odd damage. Yikes. 
Yeah, that is a colossal hit. Took one in return. More. Keep switching between the two battleships. I want you to fire on this one. Oh my god! Oh, who did? Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yes, I would like to retry. <laughs> what is my hooded chance? That's so unlucky. Uh, normally it tells you somewhere. Um... Yeah, damage control. Fire chance, uh, flash fire chance, 40. Oh, it doesn't tell you the ammo destination chance. Still, though, it's like... Really? Bit of a disappointing outing. Um, tell you what. Why don't we lose all the secondaries? Because we're going up against enemy battleships. So they're not immediately useful. And let's get a lot more armor. Um, what can these things go through? I mean, 53 inches of deck army, you're never going to get anywhere close to that. Um, I would mean, you need a deck of like 25 inches or something stupid. But we could maybe get it up to 8. With 4 inches on the extended deck. There we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> that was a very lucky hit <laughs> that they got there. Any smoke is put it to the north. Okay. Try again. Even older ships this time. Of course, one against three is not remotely fair when they... With, if they come with something equal... It's not fair on me, and if I cut, if they don't come with something equal, it's not fair on them. Let's go back to AG. Right, will you please stop switching target? No hits.
No hits. Come on. Okay, there were some hits. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, two big ones. Mid deck pen and deck extended pen. Zigzagging. Very nice. And that shell, maybe. Partial. Still a whole pile of missing at the moment. Yeah, twenty percent chance to hit my foot. See what I mean? Oh my god. I just have the worst RNG in this game. I've better RNG in X gone. There we go. Partial hit. Eight shots. 20% chance to hit. Missed. The Truxton. 15 inch guns. Oh, that'll be why they're not doing any damage whatsoever. And few bulkheads. Hmm. <laughs> Twenty-five percent chance to hit a guns. Um, one hit. <laughs> like, what's my act? So my effective hit rate is nine point two percent. I mean, I appreciate their uh, effort with the eight inch. There we go. Clipped him twice. And did. Okay, there goes the Truxton. Got the Ohio and the Kansas. Like how the uh, H44 is virtually immune to these ships. Oh my word. You know what? You can fire auto now. Ricochet chance should be quite low. There we go. Okay, 
goes the Ohio. Just from fire. Ooh. Yeah, Kansas taking big hit. knocked out. And gone. Yeah, so very much depends what you come up against. Um, although the, um, so not a bad ship, uh, overall. Interesting. Uh, I do have another idea for how you might use 20 inch guns. Uh, I, I, I am of the opinion that eight is about right. If you're going for 20, if you're going for like, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'll see you again very soon. Hopefully for some more Ultimate Admiral Reynolds. Goodbye.